Hello and welcome to the Squared Up for Scum Quick Win video series. This is video number six in the series, and in this video we're going to put together what we've learned so far and build a knock dashboard. So we start by creating a new dashboard by clicking the plus icon from the navigation bar and selecting dashboard. We'll title it knock and we'll add some columns. We'll drag these columns so that they each take up about one third of the page. Now let's add a status donut tile. And we'll scope this to the All Windows Computer Group. Let's go ahead and check the box to show legend. And then let's give this tile a title. Let's call this one Server Health. In the next column, we'll add an alert donut tile. Let's ensure the grouping is set to severity. And we'll name the tile Alerts by Severity. Now for the final column. We want to have another alert tile, but this time by resolution state. We'll first clone the existing tile and then drag it over to the top of the empty space on the right. We can then change the title to by resolution state and drop to the grouping configuration to change this to resolution state. We can then remove the unused tile below simply by clicking the trash can. Next, let's add a new tile under the status donut. This time, let's choose a performance bar tile. We'll title this one top five low disk free space percent. And we'll scope this to use the all windows computer group. In the metric, let's select the percent free space metric. And in the sort section, we'll set the tile to show the top five. We'll now clone this tile twice and drag the clone tiles below the two alert donut tiles on the dashboard. In the middle column, let's edit the tile and change the metric to processor information, percent processor time. We can then change the title to top five high CPU percent. Let's also take a look at the sort configuration and change this to descending. Now let's repeat this with the final performance bar tile. This time changing the metric to memory, percent memory used, updating the title of this tile to top five high memory percent. We'll also go to the sort configuration on this tile and change this to descending. Okay, so we now have some high level information about our environment. Next, we'll list out our alerts, showing the top five using the alerts tile. We'll name this open alerts. This tile will automatically limit to five alerts displayed. We'll enable the column titles and adjust the names of the columns so they're easier to read. We'll also add the repeat count column to help us understand the rule-based alerts. You could add other columns here, such as the alert owner or even the last modified time. Finally, let's add a matrix tile. The matrix tile is going to show us our unhealthy Windows servers. So we'll go ahead and add a new tile. We'll title it unhealthy Windows servers and we'll select matrix tile. Now in the scope, let's choose advanced scope Let's enter the All Windows Computer Group and let's add some criteria. So in the criteria field, we're going to enter health state equals two or health state equals three. This will limit the results to only show the unhealthy objects. And there will be a link in the description box below to the knowledge base article on criteria if you wish to learn more. Now the matrix tile shows detailed health state, performance metrics, and other information for a list of monitored objects. The matrix tile can be configured to show dynamic or custom columns. In dynamic mode, the columns are automatically populated by predefined perspectives, whereas columns allows you to specify which properties and metrics you'd like to display. 
as well as the ability to display a specific monitor's health or SLA information. We'll keep the default setting for display size, but as you can see for wall monitor displays, a large high impact display mode is also available. Now our last step is to publish the dashboard so that other users can view and use it. Let's do this by clicking publish from the top menu. Now let's say we want to share this dashboard with users who don't have access to SCOM or Squared Up. To do this, we need to enable open access for this dashboard. We can do this by clicking the share button in the top right of the dashboard and then clicking to enable open access. We won't cover open access in too much detail in this video, but there'll be a link in the description box below to the knowledge base article for open access. So let's go ahead and click the preview button to view the open access dashboard in a new tab. We can now go ahead and share the open access URL and users will be able to view the non-interactive dashboard without having to authenticate. And there we have it. We've just built our first NOC dashboard and coming up in the next video, we'll take a look at using a NOC dashboard in a live production environment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.